<risos> ok. Uh, começamos, então? Uhum. -huh. Uh -huh. I start? As always. Of course. Ok. <coughs> <laughs> It's always so awkward. Uh, okay. Hi, and welcome to Frame Society, where we discuss real life issues in film. Today we have a really fun episode, and yet frankly disturbing as well. Uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about the animation movie, the stop motion, uh, My Life as a Courgette. And uh, zucchini. The phrase <laughs> zucchini. Uh, for zucchini. Not, for zucchini. the non French people out there. No, you know, only in America. The only place where it's zucchini is America. The rest uh, is courgette in every. Because they other. don't like other. Except in there. Portugal, uh, which is the little pumpkin, which is just dumb. Yeah, so let's, let's begin. Talk about this masterpiece, this amazing uh, piece of film. Merch. <laughs> <laughs> This time I'm not going to waste time searching on IMDb. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> I have already everything I need in our document. So, straight to the point. Our synopsis says After losing his mother, a young boy is sent to a foster home with other orphans his age where he begins to learn the meaning of trust and true love. And then we have like... Oh, I forgot the name again of the kid <laughs> whose mom has OCD. Jujube. Wait, I have a pig. Yeah. Jujube. It's Jujube. 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 I don't know how and you would say it in, in English, like, I don't know, but in French it's Jujube. <laughs> it must be ju Jujube. Probably, <laughs> like the famous drag queen. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Jujubi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the the references are shining through early on in this episode. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and she also has this uh, fixation with numbers, with counting numbers, which yeah. uh, oftentimes is a coping mechanism, uh, supposedly from what I've read common with sexual abuse survivors i don't really know how like real or statistic wise how common that is but apparently that's oh a, a thing that's a symptom a symptom oh. so one thing that's really cool is that um what's wrong sauces <laughs> nothing more reference nothing just come to me one thing, one thing that's really cool <laughs> is that you know Uh, in there's this thing that most movies about troubled youth there's this uh figure of the bad adult that doesn't care that's you know always the villain and everything but the thing here is that even though there are bad adults we almost don't get contact with them yeah but the system that's built to help them that most of the times is vilified You know, it's orphanages. This, It, yeah, this movie yeah. doesn't do that. They are work well and they are a good institution with good people and people that really love what they do, which is helping children. Ooh. I'm sure there's a lot of really bad experiences out there regarding this kind of reality. But this movie, I feel like, is refreshing in that sense. This movie doesn't have a bad guy. Yeah. It doesn't have a bad guy or like the, the evil guy or stuff it's just like experience and like challenges small challenges that they end up overcoming all of them i know there is a lot of bad experience in orphanages as you said but actually knowing people that uh, grew up in the system like there are some good experience too so i like the fact that the movie represents that really really well it's a uh, it's Creating in a very unique way because of the it all, all it caps your attention uh, even before you start watching it because it's a different style of animation and the characters are so um, their expressions are so expressive. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, and I love to watch like the kids just standing there, you know, like looking <laughs> like 
just as when I look at them, I'm just like, this is so realistic. They just look like kids standing yes. there. Yes. And it's really interesting seeing how the decision on making these characters with such big eyes, considering the trauma they've been through. And it kind of uh, portrays how that attention to those details that they weren't supposed to to give mm -hmm. uh, kind of shaped uh, the the person they are becoming the human being on this <laughs> earth <laughs> and how they react to those things and furthermore create relationships relationships <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sasa, no! Again? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it's the freaking wind. Very nice. I know why my camera... I think my camera is glitching because of the wind, because uh, yours, Shana, was glitching just now. So, really? I don't know what's going on. But yeah. it's so... It's such a good weather here in the north of Portugal. No, but because of... Yeah. <laughs> 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 but in here it's quite a storm. And the other day my light went on and off for like six times in a row because of the wind. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So well, sorry. I just went away. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we were, were really happy about that. <laughs> it's fine. We can always cut it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. This movie is so pure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. I find it funny. Uh, if you search this movie on Google, a lot of articles say, oh, this is an animation movie, but it's not actually for kids. <laughs> <laughs> As if it's an, uh, something new in the animation world. I mean, honestly, you, you can find uh, animation is not just for kids. Yes. It's a it's a technique. A lot of them are like I like four kids, but actually they have more. I mean, who here never watched the Disney when they were a kid and went like, oh my god, I love this movie, and then watch it back again like now and they were like, wait, I didn't know that talked about <laughs> that. Yeah. You know, like. Yes. So it's not for yeah. kids. It's for everybody. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, animation is a. Uh, is a genre a genre no more like a media a technique more it than is. anything the stories you choose to tell through that it has nothing to do with the fact that it is for kids or not you know it's just it's how you want to express the story you want to tell i think that and it's very uh and, and forever <laughs> what's going on in my head oh my god <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> it's a very important type of movie because if it weren't for animation maybe we as kids wouldn't have been introduced to cinema as early as we were because since it's so much more approachable for kids and to a kind of more subtle and um, simple way to teach and introduce kids into this kind of deep um, aspects of life and deep uh, things they will not understand if they watch it alone uh, that's why it's important when you show animation movies any type of animation movies to for them to be accompanied by an adult so you can explain what's going on and furthermore when they watch it by themselves uh, they can have a deeper and a different understanding of things because I have a very interesting example my kid, my kid niece, <laughs> one of my nieces, the Frozen <laughs> fan. <laughs> she she watched Soul uh, when it came out. We see the movie, and it's very straightforward for us because we understand what it talks about and what those like metaphors are about. And uh, talking to her, she was like, "Oh, yeah, he was walking and he fell in a hole, and then all of a sudden he turned into this." big uh this blue ball and he was talking to other blue balls and they were <laughs> and she was talking <laughs> her explanation <laughs> was just so cute and uh I'm sorry. Uh, yeah so that i'm sorry it was not the best <laughs> it was not the best expression to you no i'm so sorry <laughs> but she yeah but she said it the the way she expressed it in portuguese was <laughs> Yeah, a it ball, works so in no, Portuguese. Not the best. 
Yeah, yeah. not no, so I'm much so in sorry. English. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I at least I have that thing, you know, if I was watching that, I was watching that. If I was reading that, I was reading that. <laughs> if, if I... Everything okay, Merch? <laughs> I'm sorry. That it's noise cool. were, was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But, Watch it. I don't know, watching movies as a kid uh, was kind of a family thing and I remember watching Phantom of the Opera and all of my siblings sitting on the couch and singing the songs and Damn. closing my eyes. Phantom so I of the see. Opera. <laughs> yes. And Moulin Rouge. Yes. That's, as spicy a for, <laughs> that's spicy for a kid. <laughs> yes. Damn. And I tell you, I was watching that as a kid and I saw the uh, that amazing scene from El Tango de Roxen. <laughs> I remember at that time feeling all <laughs> already like really spiced up by that. You'd I was be like, like, oh my god. I yeah, like that. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what is what this is, but this is amazing. And then I grew up and I re re this rediscovered the movie and I was like, oh, this was the one. And then I watched it and was like, oh no. Why did I feel spiced up by something that talks about almost raping someone? No, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, another Sexuality. thing. You were just Awakening. going. <laughs> you were just going for the vibes. Merch was, as a kid was like, I'm I'm digging the vibes. I like the vibes. Merch is an adult. Ooh, those were not the vibes, my child. Those were <laughs> not, not the vibes. The vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I regret some uh, a lot of stuff. I mean, we all have that like. A childhood crush, right on a character that was yeah. strange. <laughs> Peter Pan was my crush. That mm -hmm. not Peter Pan, Captain Oak. No, beautiful. No. Comedy but the genius. Peter Pan from the animation, not from the the live action one, because oh my, I don't know. What, um, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We all this is turning into a whole different awakening. episode, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's that's um childhood trauma to childhood. <laughs> yeah, from childhood trauma to childhood crushes. I mean, that's a whole lot of it's building up. <laughs> There. Well, it's about Salt childhood. Maybe, so. maybe we can do a poll on our Insta or something sometime about that childhood, we are childhood crushes or something. We that could will. Be cool. We will. We will? It's okay. Not, it's not we like, will. maybe, it's like, we will. It's an obligation. Okay, guys. I want I'm, to I'm know everybody's it. childhood crush. Look out for that then. We'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> that might be cool.